Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to save time using Trello to keep track of your recipes of things that you want to try and things that you have tried and your favorites. Um, if you haven't watched my orientation video to Trello already, click on the link in the description of this video and watch that first, then come back to this. Okay, you can see here in my Trello board, I have a recipes module set up already. These are the lists that I've created. New recipes to try this week, favorites, and didn't like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to take that new recipe for tabbouleh and I'm going to come in here and um, I'm going to edit the description and say that it's going to take two bunches parsley three lemons it's going to take four bunches of parsley, three lemons two tomatoes is that how you spell tomatoes? that's how you spell tomatoes one cup bulgur wheat, olive oil, salt, pepper. All right. And then you can write some instructions here. You can paste this stuff in from whatever website that you're taking these off of or whatever. Long story short, now I have the description here in my in my card and I can call this up on my phone or my tablet when I'm in my kitchen so that I know how to make this thing. So now my recipe's in there, I can say, okay, that's what I'm gonna cook this week and I, and I cook it this week and I really liked it. So now I'm gonna keep it in my favorites so that I'm gonna remember to come back and cook this uh, maybe next month. And if I didn't like it, I'm gonna move it to the didn't like column. You can see that as you accumulate recipes, this is a great way to keep recipes that you want to try because, you know, let's be honest, there's always stuff on the Food Network and everything looks good. You think, I'm going to make that. Well, write it down. Put it on your board and come back to it later for sure. Make that. But you can keep all the stuff that you want to try right in here. You can easily say, I'm going to cook these five things this week and use that to help plan out your grocery list, etc. Keep all your favorites here so you don't forget them and the didn't like. Now I want to show you one other thing that's kind of a cool time saver as well. And when you come over here to the menu, there's this item here that says email to board settings. And if you click that, what it's going to do is it's going to give you this email address, which I'm going to go ahead and copy into my clipboard. And if you email something to this email address, it's going to automatically create a card within your recipes Trello board. You can come right here and it'll let you say which of these lists you want that card to show up in. So I'm going to have have it show up to new recipes and it's going to put it at the bottom of the list so that the oldest stuff is always at the top. You could change it to newest if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an, a site and say I'm surfing on Rachel Ray's site or the Food Network site and I see these sloppy joes, which by the way is an awesome recipe. I highly recommend it. So you come here and you say, oh, this looks really good. I want to try it out because Kaylin recommended it. What you do is you click on email here as if you're going to share it with an email friend of yours and say and put in your email address. You're going to put in the two ad the two address using the email address I just copied to my clipboard from my Trello board. I'm going to put in my name. This one apparently makes me type in a little captcha thing and click send, right? It says, okay, my email has been sent. So I come back to my Trello board. It will refresh here automatically in just a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and click refresh just to make it show up. All right, so our new recipe card is shown up here. You can see that uh, we have a recipe here from the Food Network on behalf of me for Sloppy Buffalo Joes. Now, you can't really control the formatting of what their system emails to you, but it does show up here in a card. You can always edit this if you wanted it to be a little bit cleaner. So I can just say we're going to delete this stuff out and just have the title. Um, and you can see in here they basically have some HTML stuff. This is just kind of a drawback of their email system but if you want you can go ahead and delete out here everything but the link to the recipe and now I can easily go in here and say just click on that and find the recipe super super easy whenever I want it this is this is a really handy method if you are out browsing recipes on Pinterest or on the Food Network or you know whatever site that you're on and you just want to save stuff for later you know sometimes you don't have time to copy all this stuff but if you did you could come back here and say I'm just gonna paste this stuff in and then I'm gonna paste in the directions boom just like that now I have the link I have the ingredients I have the directions uh, well like I said use that email system 
if you want to just save some recipes in a pinch if you're going through sites it's going to save you a lot of time because you can come back later and format them into whatever you want or you know maybe even just don't bother formatting them unless it's something that you like and you want to keep for next time anyway this is a way that you can use trello to help you enjoy cooking a little bit more save recipes be a little bit more organized and uh, save some time be sure to watch my other trello videos to see other ways that it can help you organize your life as well